Hey everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review on Nutrant's new Airbender keyboard case for the iPad 3 and also the iPad 2. This is the case here itself. You can pick it up here on Amazon for $69.95. I have it here in the black model as you guys can see. So before I get into the specifics, get in depth on what this case actually does, I just want to give you guys a quick tour or hardware tour of the case first. So the case here as you guys can see all around it, it's comprised mostly of hard, rigid plastic. It's coated with a matte finish. I usually like a matte finish on cases for any device. In this case, however, I wasn't really a fan of it because it wasn't like that matte finish that doesn't attract fingerprints or dust. This matte finish was a little bit tacky, so it attracts dust and fingerprints quite easily and I just was not a fan of it. So as I held this case with my hands along the side, it just felt sort of dirty with all that dust around and it just didn't feel very polished and very sleek. In terms of the finish, I wasn't quite a fan of it. Um, the hardware though, you know, hard rigid plastic, so it's very sturdy, which is very nice. This is the whole top area with this hinge and this is the bottom area, so you have these four rubber feet and that'll keep the whole thing in place when it's on a surface because you don't want this moving around and when you open it up you'll kind of understand why I feel as though this converts your iPad into a laptop so there you guys go you can see the wireless keyboard right here that pairs via Bluetooth to your iPad this hard polycarbonate case that your iPad sits in and I'll show you guys how that looks with the iPad in just a few moments and you can see this hinge here and you can just move it down and move it back and this allows for a whole bunch of different angles and I'll demonstrate all of them in a moment and you just noticed I just took this out of the whole keyboard base and how I did that is there's this little slot here if you hold this button or the slider down you can actually put it in and take it out as you wish and that's really cool and I'll show you why in a few moments so first let me show you guys how to install this case onto your iPad so you can see this lens cap sort of mechanism here you just pinch it and this whole thing comes off so it's pretty much a three piece design you have this whole hinge that just uh, allows for a myriad of different angles and you have this polycarbonate shell that your iPad sits in and I'm gonna bring my iPad here right now to show you guys how to install it alright so I have my iPad here and to install it into the polycarbonate shell you wanna get it first and you just wanna slide your iPad in button side first so towards the right and you just wanna then snap each corner so just like that and it should sit in securely so now let's go over the cutouts of the case and what are available uh, with this case, so you can see here up at the top for the microphone, headphone jack, power button, camera, volume buttons, and lock switch, along with the charging and syncing uh, area here. And you can see the cutouts here for the speakers. So everything is accessible with this case, even the home button and the front facing camera. So now, what we want to do is attach it back into the space. And once again, to do that, you just want to pinch as hard as you can. You want to line it up with the Apple logo cutout. And so, pinch as hard as you can. And it should just sit in like that. And one thing to also mention is that you can actually swivel your iPad 360 degrees all around just like that. And so you can sit it back in landscape. What's really cool about this case is that you have a a myriad of different angles you can sit your iPad in while you do work so you can have this whole base detached from the actual keyboard like so and bring the hinge down and you can sort of work in a monitor separate monitor and keyboard sort of setup which is really nice uh, and I haven't really seen that in any other keyboard solution so I do like new trend for uh, coming up with this idea so you can have it like that with a hinge or you can put it in vertical just like so it can work in this format as well so just a bunch of different uh, angles you can do now I'm gonna, just going to put this back in landscape 
and I'm going to slide it back into the base. And to do that, once again, you want to slide this, uh, get the slider, hold it down, and you want to see the slot, put it in while holding the slider down, and you can see it just like that. And you just want to bring the hinge down just a bit, and you can see this area here. That's for actually sitting your iPad down like so while you do your work. So you can do it like that, start typing away, or you can get the slider once again and bring down the hinge, bring this down just a bit, and have it seated like so. So you can bring your iPad back a bit as you want. And once again, this also works in vertical position as well. Just a bunch of different angles about this case that you can do. And so in terms of flexibility, it is quite flexible. Uh, something you definitely won't find with any other solution. So if you are someone who is always in need of finding that perfect angle to work in, you can do it with this case. So just a bunch of different angles, which I really do like. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the keyboard of this case as it is quite important in a keyboard case, obviously. So we have the keyboard here. It's a pretty standard layout with your iPad specific functions here at the top row, along with everything down below, uh, you know, just your standard QWERTY keys. So on the top row is pretty much what you're interested in, like the home button, uh, music controls, mute, unmute, spotlight, lock switch. So pretty standard iPad functions there. And below that are once again, just your standard QWERTY keys. On the top here we have our on and off switch, so if you turn it on, you'll see the LED indicators turn on. To install it, or to pair it up, it's pretty easy, you just want to unlock your iPad, go to settings, go to general on the left, click Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on, and you'll see Bluetooth keyboard in your Bluetooth menu. Once you see that, you want to press the connect button, and the light will uh, pop up, and then you want to press Bluetooth keyboard on your iPad's Bluetooth menu, it'll say connected, and then you can do, you know, your lock, unlock, etc., etc. So pretty standard stuff in terms of the keyboard and something you'll find in pretty much every other iPad keyboard case. In addition to, you know, the standard iPad functions that you'll find in any other iPad case, you'll also find the typical degradation in productivity rates. As with any other iPad case, due to these small keys, and you know these small keys are there for a reason they're not there just because companies can't make them larger uh, they're there because it's an accessory for an iPad has to accommodate the iPad's dimensions and because of that they you know manufacturers aren't going to make these keys big because this whole base will need to be bigger and it just won't match the iPad's dimensions and because of that you we all have to kind of deal with these smaller keys uh, because it's just the way the iPad's made and the way that companies had to accommodate its dimensions. And so these small keys we just had to deal with. And so with this case and with any other iPad case, slowdown in performance is, you know, pretty average, pretty normal. And so I'm not going to ding Nutrient here for that productivity decrease in my words per minute and such. However, I did notice that the ergonomics in this case could have been a little better. Um, I know that because I've tried other keyboard cases and the ergonomics were just a little bit better and typing was just a little bit more comfortable. With this case, however, you can see these rubber feet here or these grips uh, for along the bottom uh, edge here. And I don't know why they're there. I'm assuming they're there to you know prevent this uh, iPad's glass screen from touching the actual keyboard to prevent scratches, which I feel like two down here were enough but two here I just don't understand why and these really just obtrude my thumb when I'm typing and they just sort of get in the way and so at times I am a little bit frustrated with having these there and they decrease my performance even further so overall in terms of ergonomics I feel like it could have been a little bit more well done overall I'm gonna have to rate this product a 3 out of 5 I feel like there's some things that just need a little bit more work to make this a more polished, a well polished product. A 3 out of 5 I feel is pretty justifiable with this product. There's just some kinks that need a little bit more work such as the matte finish and the ergonomics. So there you guys have it, my full review on the new trend Airbender keyboard case for the iPad 3 and iPad 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions leave them in this review or on the review and if you like this review be sure to like it. 
and I'll see you guys all next time.